my dear loving bride was up early researching all the best coffee places which in Farmington appears to consist of only drive throughs there's a little tiny chain called Durango Joe's and she got her usual latte right there I got my keto friendly at Oso Grande. It's really good. It's super strong, just like the coffee in Santa Fe yesterday. Anyway, the plans for today are substantially more abbreviated. We're gonna go look into the Four Corners. And neither one of us have ever really been there before, so. That should be fun. We head up the road we were supposed to head up and we came to downtown Farmington, which neither one of us really knew was here and immediately found this incredible gallery space slash coffee shop I didn't catch the name on the way in but uh, I think we're gonna have a little walk too so I'll tell you in a minute this place is truly extraordinary And it's really just the east edge of Main Street downtown. Artifacts Gallery and Coffee. At Main and Wall. I think uh, we're going to get a walk in today. At least that far. I'm uh, mightily impressed by how Farmington has developed. Found this nice spot in the shade to have a sit and stare at the mural. So over there where the big trees are, we uh, it runs down this way and then uh, curves. And we crossed over a big bridge uh, to get over that waterway and it is the Animas River, which uh, was frankly looking as healthy or healthier than the Rio Grande yesterday. Farmington, everybody. West end of downtown. Looking back to the east. Beautiful snow-covered peaks 
to the north of us in Colorado, and that's tempting us into a little side trip. And we're gonna um, actually briefly be in Colorado to get to the Four Corners. So it turns out, according to my navigator, that uh, this 160 West runs all the way to Tuba City, which is, roughly speaking, up there between Flagstaff and Pidge. So maybe that's a trip for sometimes too. Mexico? I thought we just left it. <laughs> it's the world famous. Cactus flowers swarming with pollinators. We are also surrounded by commerce of the t shirt variety. 
of the fry bread variety. There's an example of a young person in all four states at once. You can see there's a long line. This is like the third time that we've been warned that dumping cremation ash here is prohibited and considered malicious, de malicious desecration. I read somewhere once that the real Four Corners is off by some number of miles. But officially, this is it. It's kind of cool to watch how well the lined up people are cooperating. The ones behind taking the camera from the people in front. I guess uh, officially here, I'm sitting in Colorado, but right over there is Utah, and right over there is Arizona, and right over there is New Mexico. Officially. Technically speaking, back in New Mexico, we stopped here because it's a particularly nice view, which includes Ship Rock, and snow-covered mountains deep into June. And those highlights are only part of the story. Everywhere around us is beauty of various kinds. The original Gallup Coffee Company the expanded. Plus a cool new sign.
So we drove non-stop Shiprock to Gallup. And I think this is where filming ends for the day. Although we did not stop between Shiprock and Gallup, we did take, take some rolling footage of the Shiprock itself. And I believe that's what we'll close out with. Both for the day's filming and for the trip's filming. I think at this point we're like 85 miles from the base. So I will wish you a good night.